Hello guys, uh, welcome to my first YouTube video. I have created this channel to share my knowledge of data science and machine learning with you guys. Uh, before we get started, a little about myself. I'm a student in a master's program in data science at a famous US university. And my main motive behind creating these videos is to deepen my own knowledge uh, because I firmly believe that if you can't explain it to someone, then you don't understand it. So I I hope to get a deeper understanding of the stuff by explaining it to you guys and in addition to this selfish motive I also aim to help you guys in learning along with me so if you wish to support me in this endeavor please hit the subscribe button and I will be very happy if you can point out any mistakes I'm making which I believe I'll make a lot in the comment section below and now without wasting any further time let's get started with the topic of this video uh, which is how to generate a standard normal distribution curve using R Studio. so this is my R Studio, and the way you do it is quite simple uh, it's just three lines of code uh, first you create a variable x for example uh, and put a evenly spaced sequence in it uh, I'll start from minus 5 to Five and I will sample around hundred or say thousand data points. So this will give me an evenly spaced sequence of numbers between minus five to five, and it will put that in X. Now I have this evenly spaced sequence. What I need to do is calculate the normal density of each of these numbers from the standard normal distribution. The way you do it is by using the denom function. So I'll create a new variable f dot x in which I will put the result of a denom function and I will input my sequence x to it with some more parameters which the denom needs in order to get the density so if we press tab we'll get all these parameters that it needs and we just need to supply the mean which will be zero in this case and standard deviation which will be one because we are sampling from the standard normal distribution and standard normal distribution has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one so once you've got these two variables we just need to plot them uh, we use the plot function pass x as the first parameter f dot x as the second parameter and then you say type is equal to l which will plot a line graph and color maybe let's take it red and line width however wide you like let's say three so now I'll select all these three and run them and here you have it on the left this is your standard normal distribution and if you want you can increase or decrease this range here minus two to two let's see how it changes this so it makes it a lot wider or if you want to you know have a very thin looking graph say minus 10 to 10 ultimately just it will just scale the whole thing down so you'll get a very thin looking normal distribution but it is still a standard normal distribution which has very low values in its tails and the maximum values in the center so this is also called a gaussian distribution and this is one of the basic distributions that you need to learn in your statistics course I am learning it in my statistical analysis course and it will be used for linear regression uh, sometime later down the road I don't know I'm still going through it so I thought of sharing this with you guys let me know if it, if it was helpful and uh, do let me know if you want me to share more videos like this or anything specific which you would like to uh, which you would like me to talk about uh, so until we meet next time thank you and please don't forget to subscribe